Welcome back. This is a pick a card day. We're going to tune in. We're going to tap in and uh, rev up the intuition. I have four decks. I like to think of it that way because there's air, water, earth, fire, however you see it. Gender fluid. These are each one are tarot decks, not oracle, tarot. And this is a general reading. This is meant for everybody. There will be <clears throat> chapters, timestamps. So whatever you feel you connect with, we're all about connections. I want you to feel supported. You can pick one, you can pick all of them, you can look at all of them, or just go with the one that you feel. As we get started, I'm, I wanna show you, I'm gonna randomly, let me just, not looking, I'm gonna just grab four. Try not to look at these. I'm just gonna randomly put ancestral runes down. We'll just see if they fit the puzzle, the message that we're receiving today. All right, so let me uh, let me let you really focus on this. Okay. Deck deck one is Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. Deck two is from Soulful Revolution. Deck three, Light Sears Tarot. This is by Chris Ann. And here is White Sage Tarot by Teresa Hutch. Small but mighty. One spirit song. Two, Soulful Revolution. Three, Light Sears. Four, White Sage. All right. Now, in the essence of time, as I know it's busy, it's an incredible week in astrology, and I'm sure you're having a busy week. I hope a restful one if you need it. Okay, remember that. So, I will pull three from each. We'll discuss those and the room. So let's get to okay, deck, one. deck one. Let's go. These are beautiful. This is the first deck I ever worked with. We have the star coming out. If you're native to row, it's a great way to start is to be given a deck. So this was given to me and it is one of my favorites. So we have three to work with right now. And we are starting with the star. Peace and healing to you, my friend. This is Aquarian energy. This is air. It is a major arcana card. Um, you are off to an amazing, dreamy, magical start. But I feel the energy of you guys watching that you're like, are you kidding me right now? I just need a break. This is about being peaceful. So hold on a second. Okay. If you're worried about abundance, the changes that you're going through, the healing that you're needing as you balance some um, emotions. I feel a lot of water energy coming in now. Um, this is a new beginning that's bringing in happiness and abundance. So look at this. A really good progression. A lot of water and air energy. But because you're going to be grounded, we're going to pull in earth. And you know turtles are able to 
navigate earth and water. Actually, so can a swan. All right, I digress. <gasps> Look at this, the giraffe, the foresight. Okay, these are the beginnings. Three of acorns, wands, threes, creativity, growth, making decisions as you get into this new beginning. Some other things I want you to remember about the swan. It's tranquil. This is going to bring you the promise that the change is going to be worth it. It's guided. It's, I want you to trust, feel healing water. I feel, you know, go by the water or soak, take a shower, soak in the tub, um, get in touch with nature. That's going to ground you. Both, all of these will elevate your sights on a brighter future. And this is past energy, recent, current, and this is guiding you to the future. Okay. And this is whether you're des you've planned this or not. It's happened and you're okay with it and you're making decisions. And... After this emotional upheaval, there's going to be a lot of joy, spiritual gifts that you've not felt before. <clears throat> so for those of you that picked deck one, you're, you're feeling this awakening and you want the change. And you see it, you feel it, you just. You need to do it. I feel you want the support. And you've got mine. And you're well on your way to achieving your highest potential with this new energy. And with the turtle, as far as um, more love and emotion. This turtle is going to guide you to well-being. You're going to feel more celebratory and more creative. And I want you to be ready to express yourself. Express yourself. And lastly, let's look at the uh, three of wands, acorns with the giraffe. Love giraffes. I love all, oh my gosh, I love all of these. Such beautiful cards. And <clears throat> I did tell you that obviously the giraffes are so tall. They have such a gift of high perception really going to give you the ability to go ahead and know you have the ability to express yourself, the confidence to implement the plans, or at least explore. You're going to feel optimistic. There's a path ahead and I need you to trust the process and trust the path. Be open to new prospects and messages okay yes 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 and the rune that came in okay runes are thousands of years old typically carved in stone or what did you see here kind of a dramatic germanic i should say um history and language normatic definitely ancestral <clears throat> and as I mentioned exploration and trusting the process and the path this is Iwaz rune of the horse power of the journey connection teamwork we talked about the three of wands being teamwork harmony 
happiness, power. This is going to give you the energy. And it is lovers in Tarot, which is choices. And you're going to have the foresight to make those. And those of you connecting uh, to a type of love reading, this speaks to that. It definitely speaks to that. And if you're not looking for a relationship, it's about loving yourself and having the confidence to just completely trust the path and the process. It's time for travel. And this may be physical or the internal travel. And definitely another emphasis about trust in your relationships and within yourself. I can't repeat that enough. And it is um, a Gemini sign in astrology, but air, connection. And um, growth. So randomly, these fit like a beautiful puzzle. I just cannot ever, ever get over it. And a question I want you to contemplate until we talk again is what is the deeper reason for the sudden change I felt? And what, no, not what, I will, you will, you will be able to trust the process, the path, the people around you. Awesome. All right. We're going to move on now to the next group. I love right. you guys. We are on deck two. All right. We got one. I didn't plan that. Popped out. Soulful Revolution by MJ. Mary, Mary Jo. There we go. She's on YouTube. I love her. Had to have her cards. So, Three of Pentacles. Interesting, 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 interesting. All right, let's look at all of them. Recent past, current energy, Five of Wands. Three, five, creativity, growth, making decisions, lessons, competition. We have here. The lovers, decisions, choices, earth, air, fire. Okay, you guys, I'm just thinking. This is um, a general reading. This is deck two. There's competition going on and it is messing with your relationship. Okay, Dex, for those of you connecting with two, uh, let's contemplate this. Now, <laughs> there aren't major arcana cards here, so I feel these are small things that you're making into big things. I think you needed the advice because there's a, there is growth here. You felt it, but, um, you're looking for advice and, and some understanding of the nature of the conflict in your relationship. Um, a lot of times three of pentacles is about what, what, what skills am I missing or so if this, if you're connecting with work and career, this is about skills and competition, decisions and jobs. If this is about love. You need to have more confidence because you feel like you're missing something or you're not good enough. 
and we know that's a bad place to be. I don't want you stuck there. So the five of wands <clears throat> is how to be competitive in a sense. And gosh, I hate that you feel so in conflict with yourself or with this person. Oh, I take that back. You do have a, a major arcana card, the lovers. I apologize, you guys. This is a big decision. This is a big decision. And I, I do want you to seek advice. Um, extra skills and training and education 100% is beneficial for anybody. No matter if you're single or in a relationship, it's sort of a, I need a plan B. And it's plan C. You're in plan A, what's plan B and what's plan C? Because you have decisions to make here with the lovers. <clears throat> and when the lovers is, oh gosh, is that a six? Lovers, 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 guys. Just hold on a second. Yeah, six. So we have three, five, six. There's quite a progression here. Making decisions, facing dilemmas, and then finding happiness. Making decisions, facing dilemmas, finding happiness. What are these decisions about? Only you could tell me. But there's dilemmas and decisions. You will be happy in the end. Maybe that's why you're here is to feel supported about your decisions. And 100% you are. You need to do this. And also with the lovers, since that is a major arcana card, I want you to feel beautiful, know you can overcome the dilemma, and ask yourself, how can I make the most of this relationship? So you're going to want to stick it out. Please get advice about it and have your plan B and C, but make the most of it. There's a lot of love there. All right, let's see what the rune has to say. This is the rune of ice. Let me pull up more meanings. Ancestral runes are thousands of years old, Germanic, Normatic, ancestral language. This does represent right where I put it. Amazing, you guys, to randomly have this puzzle come together. <clears throat> Isa is the rune of ice, power of obstacles, hardships. I need you to focus, be conscientious about how you move forward, um, be alert, be in the moment. That's how you can probably make the most of the relationship. It's water and earth, fire, air. We have everyone represented here. But Isa is water and earth. Neptune. So you feel very emotional about this decision. These obstacles. Um, and it's requiring... A lot of introspection so it's a really good time to just be silent and still and as you <clears throat> consider the ways to make the most of your decisions and make the most of the moment you're in and the, the plans Make the most of you. 
that will bring a lot to the relationship. And if your way is blocked, just listen deep inside. You can get the advice, please. But also follow your intuition. And I hope you resonate with deck two, because this is telling you, trust your intuition. Just be quiet. Don't, the fear is really loud. Ignore, just push that away or work through it. The intuition's quiet. It's like that, hey, ch -ch -ch, this is what you really want. You really want this. It's quieter. The other one's like, no, you got it. And you'll hear it. The universe will guide you. All right. So you will get through the hardships, I promise. There's still a lot of love. And I love My you. My friends, the pink deck three. Lightseer's tarot, Chrisanne, another beautiful tarot deck. Three cards for you as well. Recent past, oh, that's too many, everybody. Current energy and what you can look to. Focus, let's get three, and then I have a rune for you. So thanks for being here. There we go. Ta-da! Hanged man. So we have a major arcana card for you guys as well. Ooh. Ooh, bonus card, you got four. Gotta take them. All right. Introspective, time to take a moment. Stay balanced. Isn't this beautiful? She is... She, he, gender fluid, it's a 12, and uh, it's amazing how extremely balanced and talented she is, and the aura coming off of her. So, she's taking a break because, yikes, this five of swords didn't feel good. Fives are dilemmas. So what happened? Swords, air, energy. These are general. Just going with your intuition. Three of wands in reverse. All right, current energy. That's um, fire, but a bit blocked. This is three of wands is ready to move forward feel good on it by herself. There's a lot of independent energy here. Uh, a lot of time to think about this and move forward, but it, it's not been easy when I can get that. But look, that's why they gave, or, you know, your angels, your God wants you to know this. You are the queen of wands. Whatever you are stuck about, you are the queen of wands. All right, so let's dive into these messages real quick for you guys. The hanged man is a really good time to lean in to the inner feelings that you have. As I always say, remember, fears are so loud. They make you want to run. Intuition is quiet and balanced and um, limble, flexible. Look at look at this person. So listen to your gut. Listen to your gut and surrender to the process. And okay, you guys. Sorry, Mercury is messing with me. Mercury retrograde already. It's coming in a few days, but it's already got me. Um, explain the hangman. Now, for some of you, I feel like you're really stuck and blocked. This is probably crooked, sorry, but we gotta go. You may even be feeling guilty about something. Something you did or leaving something behind. Um... And if you're lacking confidence, I want you to dream bigger. Dream 
bigger. This person, God wants you to know you have creativity, control, energy, fire to get through this. Feeling really stuck. So lean in to your intuition. Let go of the fear. It's really loud. Let that go. Sit quiet. Lean in to your intuition. It, just try. It's hard. Try to change your mindset to be more optimistic. And also, when you see the Queen of Wands, I like to leave you guys with thoughts and questions. What question do I want to leave you with? Um, ah. You're stuck, you're blocked. What's going to make you feel more empowered so you can move forward? Think about what has you blocked. What, what are you stuck about and what's going to make you feel more empowered? And then just take baby steps to plan that. Fives are dilemmas. Threes are making decisions. So there is progression here. And a 12 is a three. Dilemmas, plans, decisions, and ultimately what makes you feel passion and empowered, independent. You want to be independent and feel good about it. Whether you're in a relationship or alone, you want to feel good about it. Now let's look at the rune. Thank you everybody for sticking with me, including the video. I believe this is the power of prayer, but let's look. This is ancestral language, thousands of years old. Normatic, dramatic language. And ah, it's, the, it's the rune of good fortune, the rune of joy, the power of good fortune. Leo and strength. This is the strength you needed to get through this. I'm amazed. Are you guys not amazed at how these always fit like a puzzle? So it's time to celebrate things in your life. Don't take anything for granted. Show gratitude and really go ahead and celebrate. Look, yes, yes, good things are coming. You've done the hard part. You can expect some really good things. I also want you to understand this is prosperity, love and balance, pleasure, harmony and happiness. Amen to that. So see? Beautiful. I love you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. For Jeez. those of you who picked four, White Sage Shrew. Our rune is here. Let's go for three cards. These are awesome. Ooh, wow. High Priestess popped out already. Check it out. All right. Let's go. We're on a roll. Be sure to check out the others. These are general readings. Each one is amazing. Very clear messages. So there's a lot to resonate with each each deck, but uh, let's take them. You guys get bonus cards. Three of Pentacles, Teamwork, Air Energy, no, Earth, Earth and Water. Well, these cards confuse me because they're so beautiful. These are making decisions, and the High Priestess can do it. Seven of Wands, air, I mean, fire. What am I so crazy about today? Looking to the future. Sevens, looking to the future for sure. Really quick, there's a question I want you guys to consider. So 
The High Priestess is your major arcana card. And it's really about what you want to manifest. All right. The Three of Pentacles. What skills am I missing? These are questions you can ask yourself and then we'll keep going. The Seven of Wands. A good question for you is uh, what, okay, what skills do I need and who are the people and the things around me influencing me? I want you to focus on that and, on, and make sure that um, they fit your dreams and it may lead to some discoveries. And again, with the Three of Pentacles, what skills am I missing? What skills am I missing? Okay. Let's go on, see what else is all out of here. Eight of Pentacles. I do feel this is about uh, work, career, uh, these kind of messages, okay? Eight is now moving into the progress and motivation that you've needed to make the plans. You're really trusting the process because you are the high priestess. Gender fluid. So the eight of pentacles and look at this. Three, seven, eight, step by step. Trust the path and the process. Trust the path and the process. Eight of Pentacles. Um, just really, where do I focus my efforts? And how, where do I focus my efforts to make this prosperity happen sooner? Okay. Page of Cups. Hmm. I think you're feeling a little insecure, a little bit like a newbie in this situation, and that's why you want more knowledge, more teamwork, more focus, because the Page of Cups is your emotions is sort of like the baby beginnings, but also a little bit of fear I intuitively feel. <clears throat> um, it's youthful and creative, but I want you to Stay grounded and confident and don't play too much. You need to be creative, but don't uh, drop the ball with your focus. That's what that's about. Have fun. Celebrate the prosperity these changes will bring in, in your manifestation in your work is what I feel but do have fun and be creative but don't drop the ball don't play too much okay all right and the rune that we have here thousands of years old this is the rune of cattle unbelievable to me that this is the power of wealth so this is about prosperity new beginnings for some of you fertility okay and hope energy it's fire tower it's a tower moment in tarot but it brings in these new beginnings 
and it's time to share what you have, not to uh, hold on to anything too tightly. Be willing to accept new beginnings. There's a lot of control and power going on. So balance that and do have hope. A lot of good things coming in. This is about work, you guys. Mm -hmm. Love you. Peace.